What's up, guys? Real quick, it's early. It's 4.09. It is Friday morning. Um, well, 4.10. And I'm getting ready to go in here, clock in about 5, um, and I'm going to make it. Yesterday, it was so pretty, guys. It was 73 degrees. 73 warm and sunny. It reminded me of hammock talk. I cannot wait to get back to doing that. Y'all, I cannot wait. I'm being honest. So, yeah, so... Oh, it's up early. I just wanted to say hello, and I'll see you guys later on this evening. We always make it. What's up, guys? Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Wow, wow. Nah, what's up, guys? I hope you guys had a good arse week, okay? I hope your week was good. I had a good week um, coming off of a rough week, but I had an amazing weekend. I would never change anything about it, so I am happy that I took some time for myself. Now, let's go ahead and get this over with. You guys seen me earlier. I was going in. Well, look at me now. I did that shit. And y'all gonna do that shit too. Because we're gonna what? I know. These are the bitches in the back. We're gonna make it, okay? <laughs> y'all already know what I'm gonna say. We're gonna make it. Now, if you're getting off and you're seeing this, rock it out. It's the weekend. If you're off or not, it does not matter because you're still gonna take time for yourself. You're gonna do something for yourself. You're gonna enjoy it. You, you're gonna get to your bag if you gotta get to your bag either way now if you're off do uh, whatever the hell you can you understand that cap nothing don't go out of control and do something crazy and then your ass can't go back to work what I'm saying is enjoy it try something different do something different go watch something different go I don't know hike if you don't hike just do something different okay but I do hope you guys are doing good. I love you guys. You always know I'm going to say I love you guys because I do. You guys are my friends in my head regardless. Y'all know that. Thank you for always supporting me. Regardless. Okay? Regardless. Now, real quick because I don't really have too much to say, but I always do have a lot to say. Y'all know that. So, I was watching this YouTube channel called A Walk With The Ancestors, right? And um, they were talking about the giant Ouija board that was created up in Salem. Now, I'm just going to tell y'all this now. Ouija boards are not a game. It's not a toy. It, they're not. And I don't know. Well, it's not my business of why. I don't know. But I just cannot fathom the thought of why people think it's okay to play around with spirits. Like, this shit is real, right? So they have this gigantic Ouija board. And supposedly, it's placed on where the trials were he held for the so-called witches. Now, I do believe there were a lot of witches back then. Um, just like there's a lot of witches today. Um, my thing is not everybody uses their magic for bad. There's always good and evil. Hello, somebody. Okay. Anyway, so keep in mind, you're going to have pain, anger, death, destruction, like everything negative you can think about happen on that land to people that use magic. And I'm pretty sure when some of them past i don't know if all of them passed happy that this was happening so they have a lot of release anger themselves and whatever could be released of their magic could have turned to dark all i'm saying is they put it on that that ground I'm about to say burial ground but hell that's kind of what it is like fucking pet cemetery right i'm just saying like and you can go up there and have fun playing on the Ouija board to contact spirits. Now, my thing is, do you understand that certain people, like they were saying on the YouTube channel, and I agree with this, certain people have gifts that they don't even know that they have yet. And some people do have gifts that they, that they know that they have, and but they don't realize how to control it. Or what if they go up there with some friends and they're not even on the board, but around it. And because they are there, their energy, whatever their ancestor is, whatever that power is with, through their bloodline, helps release whatever the hell, which the YouTuber, uh, her name is Quatita, Quatita Dean, um, I love her, love you, uh, she believes that 
they're trying to raise one of the biggest, meanest, oldest, ancient deities. Why, you ask? I have no idea, but it's just like the movies we see on sci-fi. Why they're finding something in a cave and they want to bring it back to life and then it kills everybody and then they gotta kill it or what like whatever this this is going on it's been going on and i'm just like so we get everybody up there nah, well i ain't going no damn where but people are gonna go up there people are gonna think it's funny it's fun everybody's gonna bring their energies their emotions their trauma their whatever childhood whatever issues get on that board and the freaking pendulum is the size of my damn V. I'll throw a picture up here and use it and where is all that energy going like they like they said where the hell is that energy going like in, in my opinion I think this is wrong but a lot of issues wrong I mean look at USA and beyond the separation and all that let's start with the magic and how it's being used and how it's not being given back to those that it could have came from that's all i'm saying for one let's start there these mad man pinky and little brains and the damn minions running around just harry potter and people and shit and transforming in the skies and recreating and it's crazy and speaking of recreating there's a so-called artist which they were talking about too which is not an artist. It's a. She's a scientist. She. She's able to take like I guess if I sip on this, she takes the straw, gets the DNA, and they recreate you. Okay, we know that. But they say that they can tell what you look like. They can make you. Not just like a structure of you. They can, like down to the T. Cloning. But they said it's just an art. It's just an art thing where she's just taking bubble gum and redoing people's faces. And you, they, they, they can make you. Just saying. Think about that. Back to the Ouija board. Anyway, so... All I'm saying is, and it's before October. You know, like people say, they said this too, but I've heard this before and I agree with this as well. You know, they got to get their sacrifices in, right? Allegedly, okay? And you can't just, boom, do it on the night of the harvest right here at 12 like in a movie. No, you have to work up, do certain rituals and, and different whatever type of things up until the time it's time for the big showdown, right? So they're starting now. October's coming up, and you know that's a, a, a harvesting month for those demonics. And everybody's going to be going up there, traveling across the world probably, bringing all this energy to that board. And my thing is, no offense, because I don't even, I don't get into religion like that. I'm, I'm free. Um... But where are all the fighters, you know, for stuff like this? Where are they at? Why aren't they in the streets marching for this board? Like, like seriously? I mean, there could have been some protests. Maybe they're hiding it. You know how the alleged media is, but whatever. I just think that things to me that are really demonic, that, that are a big deal, that people need to talk about, nobody talks about it. Everybody's still stuck on the same shit they have programmed us with billions and billions and trillions of times we've been here over and effing over again in this Truman show and we're just looping and looping and looping loopity loop and they're just putting in new things and we're looping I'll throw this in here and we're looping back just saying I don't know whatever but with that being said don't let this world change you please continue to study continue to have an open mind please just don't go with one thing you hear the things that I talk about this is just theories and research and just like let's like let's open up let's look at these things you know what i'm saying let's get out of the old script and let's look at this new ish but it's old ish but let's take the blinders off you know what i mean 
Like, so don't let this world change you. No matter how people act, what they're building. Okay, stay true to yourself. Always stay true to the higher power, deities, the the the, the angels. You know the if you want to say beings of light and love. You know what I mean? That's what we stick with. Okay, but we need to pay attention to the demonic stuff. I'm not causing fear and we need to be running around in circles no we need to do research we need to keep eyes on things and we need to you know know how to spiritually be protected because i am working hard on learning how to get better on meditating which i hardly ever did telling you i've got to conquer that you know what i mean and cleansing myself more and just having that putting protection on me like y'all this is real i mean people heard of the armor of god well i'm trying to tell you Somewhere that is true because everything was taken from somewhere. But I'm telling you, you have to know the certain words and the certain baths and the certain things to do on certain nights to put on armor to protect you from negative stuff, allegedly. But I'm just telling you, just research some stuff. You know what I mean? Period. We're not going to be perfect humans. We're going to try to be the best humans we can always be. But y'all already know what I'm going to say. If you cannot keep turning your cheeks, sometimes you may have to use your feet. And I stick by that. I love you guys. I'm going to get out of here. I've got to get little man ready for homeschool. Okay, because you know what I'm saying? I'm still going. I'm still rolling. Rolling down the river. Okay, and I'm about to roll back in here. Get everything together. Get him settled. Take me old good old Nizap, okay? Because it's much needed. I should have been doing this when I was younger, but I was so against naps. I will pay for a nap now, okay? I love you guys. Have a good weekend. Regardless, break the matrix. Be yourself. Love yourself. Don't let nobody stop you. Don't let anything get in your way. Things may slow you down, but what is meant for you is meant for you. It doesn't matter what people throw in there, what people try to do. When the universe moves... There's nothing that anybody can do to stop it. Continue to try to stay positive. Counteract the negative with positive. Get y'all some evil eyes. Get you some sage. And watch the demons run and play away from you. Okay? I'll see y'all next Friday.